And so we've enjoyed the, the peace and quiet of Eastern Henrico. Less hustle and no bustle is just the way Jeff Dawes likes it. We want to protect the environment and preserve it as much as possible. Mr. Dawes has been calling Yali Mill Road and Verina home for nearly 40 years. It just gives you a real sense of connection to history. The retired Richmond firefighter truly digs the past. This is really a battlefield, and I've actually found the artifacts uh, all in this area. Uncovering relics from 160 plus years ago. And this is kind of my pride and joy of my collection. The Highland Springs native is surrounded by reminders of the Civil War. This trench line runs approximately two miles. Earthworks sit steps from Jeff's front door. Up to 10,000 men, 5,000 from both sides, fought right here. But look closely. Signs of his own modern day battle dot his property too. Oh yes, completely. I see it as the gateway to urbanization. Jeff is leading a charge to save sacred ground from being bulldozed. Here's the Camp Hill tract, the 520 acres. Uh, 420 of that is to be developed. A large swath of the New Market Heights battlefield along Route 5 was rezoned 20 years ago. Well, a development of that size would, would impact us greatly. Recently, a subdivision with about 700 houses and townhomes was going to rise on this spot. But a Texas-based developer withdrew plans in April after not meeting conditions of the permits issued. Uh, the vista right behind me is, is what they would call pristine. Preservationists like Parker Angel Lasto, executive director of the Capital Region Land Conservancy, see a golden opportunity. I think if we lose this, what you're going to see is that there's a big donut hole in an area of conservation. Eastern Henrico is dotted with Civil War sites, but historians rank New Market Heights as one of the rarest. So there are a number of battlefields in which the U.S. colored troops did fight. Uh, we know that. but. There is none in which they had such a victory. It was here on September 29th, 1864, U.S. colored troops of the Union Army etched their names in history books. <laughs> Hundreds of black soldiers fought and died on this spot while storming Confederate earthworks under withering fire. When they came out, uh, it was a, a complete slaughter. Out of the 16 Medals of Honor awarded to African Americans during the Civil War, 14 soldiers earned them right here. Known about my great great grandfather since about middle school. For Damon Radcliffe, the effort to preserve New Market Heights is personal. Sometimes I can actually feel that he was out here. The lieutenant with York Pocosin Sheriff's Department is linked to this land forever. It brings a sense of pride to the family. Damon's great great grandfather, Edward Radcliffe, escaped slavery in James City County and joined the U.S. Army. Sergeant Radcliffe's valor that day earned him a Medal of Honor. It's, it's a surreal feeling to stand on this side of it, knowing what they had to go through to get here. To the decorated soldier's descendant, saving this sacred land is paramount to the legacies of the men who clashed here. Anybody who had a member who fought during the Civil War, regardless of what side it was on, um, the, the, these things need to be preserved so that they have something to you know, have a connection with versus a book or a movie. Of just in this area, multiple hundreds of men died and multiple thousands were wounded. Jeff Dawes compares the colored troops bravery to U.S. soldiers from another famous battle 80 years later. It, it's huge. Uh, it's, it's like uh, Normandy at, at D-Day. They had the gumption and to keep moving forward, you know, to, to finish their goal of victory. And that was, that took some real grit. Mr. Dawes believes the actions of the Forgotten 14 and the rest of the colored troops was the beginning of a new chapter. I consider that the first civil rights movement of black America. Just on the other side would be about 500 yards to a tree line. And that is where the U.S. colored troops would have come up. Uh, today, we don't know what the future of this property is. Parker Angel Lasto and Damon Radcliffe aren't anti-development, but they agree this land should be off limits. But when you hear from Damon and you hear that much of their history was not even well known to the family, it gives me a sense of why we have to do more to preserve. They believe 
and intact new market heights would benefit all. You know, it doesn't make sense from a development perspective when you look at this section of Verina that is largely preserved. The decision to develop these fields and woodlands ultimately rests with the owner. We're in a position where if we could, we would gladly um, work with uh, the current owner of the property and see if we can uh, make a conservation acquisition. It says they, they were determined. Damon Radcliffe hopes the land where his ancestor earned his Medal of Honor remains untouched. This is an area where the course of our history changed. Our country's history changed right here. I still have the faith that we can save this battlefield. In his quiet corner of Henrico, amateur historian Jeff Dawes remains cautiously optimistic, but shudders at the alternative. Well, we'll lose basically the, the most important part of the battlefield, or the biggest portion right now that has been untouched for 160 years. Once it's gone, it's, it's gone forever.